Well, it's a joy to open God's Word with you, and today we're going to look at Psalm 93 uh, for Wednesday, May 6th, and I'm going to read the whole psalm. It's only five verses long, but just listen to the power and the expressiveness of this psalm. Psalm 93 says, The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. Indeed, the world is established firm and secure. Your throne was established long ago, and you are from all eternity. The seas have lifted you up, Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. Your statutes, Lord, stand firm. Holiness adorns your house for endless days. Well, this psalm reminds us that God is strong and God is powerful and he rules and he reigns. Remember that in those moments where you're feeling discouraged, out of control. You say, God is on the throne. And then the psalm reminds us that even the greatest sort of, sort of pounding and sounds and, and glory of creation is just a flicker of the flame of God's glory and goodness. And, and so it talks about the, the, the breakers in the ocean. I actually started spiritually ser- searching and seeking before I became a Christian because I grew up in Huntington Beach and I love going to, the, to the, the beach. I loved big surf days, big wave days and the pounding and the sound. I love the ocean. It always made me feel like there's more. There's got to be more than, than, than just this world and the physical world. There's something behind all of this. And then this psalm reminds us that the pounding, crashing waves are just sort of a picture, a symbol of the greatness of God's power and glory. Every time you go to the ocean, every time you look at a, at a sky on a, on a clear night with it just pierced with the stars, remember in all the beauty of creation, it's just pointing to the creator, the one who made you and me and who loves us. And then this psalm talks about just understanding the truth of God's word, his statutes, his words, his commands, his ordinances. And I want to encourage you, know this book. Don't let a short devotion like this be enough for you for one day, but open God's word every day and dig it. If you don't know where to start, go to our Shoreline Daily Readings. It'll get you ready for for next week's message. But just open the scriptures and read what God has to say and be, be open to the spirit speaking to your heart in this season of your life. Lord Jesus, that's our prayer. That in all of creation, when we we hear the thunder of of the waves, when we see the glory of the skies, that they they wouldn't point us to creation as an end in and of itself, but they would point us to you, our creator, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Let us hold to your statutes, to your word. Let your word guide us today and every day of our lives. And we will give you praise and glory and honor. Lord, lead us this day. We give this day to you. Direct us every step of the way. We pray in Jesus' glorious name. Amen. Well, Pastor Sean, our chief of staff, has got a few things to share with you that I hope will set some of the tone for the rest of your week. It will be a blessing and encouragement. God bless you, and we'll see you on Friday. So for this week's update, really two invitations. One is, will you join us tonight for Night of Worship? Starting at 6.15, of course, we'll be online. We want to encourage you to join us as we worship together, as we sing songs of praise, as we, as we take communion together as one body of believers, as we, as we hear the word and we're reminded in a powerful message by Pastor Kevin, the importance of loving our neighbor, especially in this season that we find ourselves in. So that's tonight at 6.15, Night of Worship. And also, I'm very excited because this month, the month of May, also marks a return of Wednesday nights at Shoreline. So we want to invite you after this week, beginning next week on Wednesday night, we'll be taking a journey through the Gospels, specifically looking at Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and those Gospels, and we'll be looking at the life of Jesus. We'll see how Jesus shapes our stories. So I want to invite you to join us on those Wednesday nights for the rest of the month of May as Pastor Kevin, Pastor Walt, and I will actually have the honor of being able to spend some time teaching in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. So that's Wednesday nights at Shoreline beginning next Wednesday and this week, of course, night of worship. So Shoreline, that's the update for this week. God bless you. Stand strong, stay healthy, and stay connected to Shoreline Church. We'll see you tonight at Night of Worship. God bless.